is up YouTube is RS Mario here bringing you another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video all right so we have video number two for today uh, so of course if you didn't see the first video the first video is actually the second part of the video I dropped yesterday so you can check that out uh, if, you, if you haven't checked it out already I know if I post a video earlier than I usually do sometimes the algorithm doesn't put it in people's uh, so subscribe boxes so if you didn't get it or if you haven't seen it there it is you can check it out uh, it's gonna be in the card over here or over here depending on how it goes I might even throw a link down in the uh, in the description too just in case because I, I, I think it'll pro people might not be able to see it uh, but yeah so we're gonna get into a whole lot of stuff today so we got the Riddler Q issues going where uh, Riddler Q basically breaks down a lot of his, his uh, um, a lot of his riddles. He kind of gives us hints on some of the other ones that haven't been revealed yet. Uh, we have Centro coming in uh, with some with some interesting topics to talk about, uh, and we have uh, this thing <laughs> we have to talk about too. So of course, if you want to continue getting more videos like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that good stuff. The YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me. Follow me on twitter.com slash slash rsmario128. Uh, like the video, tweet, share the video, tweet now. I'll shout you out at the end of the video. All right. Uh, let's get on into the news. All right. So, the first order of business is uh, <laughs> I was looking, uh, I was conglomerating all the tweets and information for this video, and I ran across this story. Uh, well, IGN was talking about uh, a new uh, bit of Pokemon merch. Specifically, Wiglet merch, uh, and it, it looks, uh, yeah. yeah, it looks like you just got a dick pic from Seamus. <laughs> it's like, bro, wow. So, been, yeah, this is the officially licensed Wiglet plush. All right, this is actually being sold at the Pokemon Center website, so you know it's licensed. Um, now, I, I've seen Wiglet plushies before. Like, there's another Wiglet plushie out there. That actually looks this actually looks kind of like this one, but it's more bent like forward, so you can act, so it actually looks like it does in the game, like it's looking, you know, forward instead of looking at the sky. Because when it when it looks like it's looking at the sky, it, it just it just looks different. <laughs> I, I I just found it hilarious, and so I feel like maybe there's a way you could bend it, and they just didn't bend it enough in the picture, so that's why it just looks like that. Even though, I don't know. I mean, is bending it painful? Does that hurt? <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, yeah. What do you think about <laughs> the Wiglet plushie? I just found it hilarious that people were talking about this. Like, oh, my God. It's borderline I I NSFW. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Like, if I saw this sitting in the background of some streamer's setup, I'd be like, yeah, that's questionable, bro. That's questionable. You know what I'm saying? But on to the actual information here. So, first off, Centro Pokemon leaks uh, one of the Riddler Q equations. One of the Riddler Q riddles was a math equation. It was 7 plus 8 plus 1, which comes out to 16. Uh, so, if the previous 7.8 plus, plus 1 leak is accurate, we now have a clearer picture of all the new Pokemon in the DLC. So, 7 in Teal Mask, so that's Ogre Pond. Uh, two is Fazendipity, three is Monkey Dory, uh, four is uh, Okidogi, five is Diplin, six and seven are Convergent Species and, and Evo for the Convergent Species. So the Convergent Species is whatever the, 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 the purple to green Pokemon is. So, and now, now that we know one thing about that whole riddle is that the edible riddle and the purple to green are two different things because the edible Pokemon is Diplin. So we know who that is now. So that, that that you know, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later though. Uh, and then Indigo Disc, uh, there's eight. So there's Terrapagos, Raging Bolt, uh, Iron Crown, uh, Paradox Entei, Paradox Terrakion, which I actually thought they were going to be in Indigo Di I thought they were going to be in Terra Mask, but... Uh, Entei and Terrakion was going to be in the next one, but okay, I'm wrong. I learned something on that one. Uh, and then it's Arculeon, Arculodon, 
uh, as well as another cross gen Evo and then the eighth Pokemon. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if the other cross gen Evo is like some other one off Pokemon. You know, again, more on that a little bit later. I have no idea what the eighth Pokemon could be. All right, so next we go to Riddler Q. So Riddler Q, he did a whole lot of riddles and he broke some of them down. So the first one is this one. Now I posted that, oh snap, you know, Riddler Q is, he's designing his VTuber model. <laughs> he's about to go into his VTuber arc. Uh, but this was actually a riddle for the photographer. So the photographer, my Perrin, I believe is her name. Um, this is the riddle for her, basically saying that a character that looks kind of like this with hair like this is coming soon. And he was pretty much spot on with that, other than the, the weird, like, ankle warmers. Like, what's up with that? Like, do, do people wear things like this? Like, what is this, the 70s? Like, you look like a, 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 a 70s skier in Colorado. Like, all right, so next we have this one. So he said, PS and PV, what's next? So I think people were saying this was Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I think this is where the craze came up where, oh, he's teasing a new game. You know what I'm saying? But actually he was saying Paradox Suicune, Paradox Verizion, what's next? So uh, now we have these two. Now we know what this riddle was about. So the interesting thing is, are they going to do all of them? Because you got to remember, there are technically four. Uh, there are four Musketeers compared to the three dogs. So you've got Suicune, Entei, and the last one is, now we got Suicune, Raikou, and the last one's Entei. All right, now for the Musketeers, you have Verizion, Cobelion, Terrakion, my boy, and uh, you've got... Um, uh, I can't remember the last one. He, he had a movie. Oh, uh, gosh. The last one's a water type. Um, damn, I can't remember his name. He had a movie. Um, you know what I said? He actually has a musketeer hat, too. So uh, are they going to do a paradox for him, or are they just going to do a paradox for the original three? I could definitely see them just doing it for the original three. I can't wait to see I can't wait to see Paradox Terrakion, bro. All right, I... I I, I have a love-hate relationship with it because I love Terrakion as a Pokemon. But when he hits competitive, though, yeah, he about to be punching people. He about, he about to BTFO a whole lot of teams. <laughs> uh, so speaking of him BTFO, we have uh, the legendary, I mean, the royal, tri uh, royal, the loyal trio. Uh, so we got some hints into what their typing might be. So uh, we see them do three different attacks in the game. So we see uh, in the trailer, so we see um, Okie Dogie do this kind of like rush physical move. Definitely looks look like some kind of charging attack, you know. So he's, everybody's thinking that that means he's probably going to be fighting poison. Uh, we see, you know, Monkey Dory do uh, kind of a psychic looking attack. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely purple energy, so it could be psychic or it could be ghost. Uh, he's been theory to be either one, but people are leaning towards Psychic. And then, of course, you have Fezendivity that's kind of doing something that could look kind of like Moonblast or a Fairy-ish move. So everybody's saying he's going to be Fairy Poison. So Psychic Poison, Fairy Poison, uh, and Fighting Poison, which means that Ogie Dogi has a 4x weakness to Psychic. <laughs> This man is getting KO'd by confusion. Um, but yeah, I think this is actually kind of good. Um, I mean, Fairy Poison sounds like a, a pretty gnarly type combo, just to be honest. Pheasant Dippity might be, if, if we have a choice, Pheasant Dippity might be the play now. You know what I'm saying? It might be the play. Um, of course, um, again, these are all speculative. Because, uh, of course, you have the... The, the lanterns, which I feel like I've done tons of videos on at this point, that also hint that there could be a third typing somewhere in the mix, possibly Terra or a Terra form or an alternate form that is hinted at uh, uh, in the uh, in the lantern. So, you know, it is what it is, though. It looks like we might have the base typings down pat, though.
Alright, so we have the next uh, riddle is, this is the big one. So this is the big one, the the the, uh, the regional fake uh, purple Pokemon turning green. So Riddler says, uh, help you rule out something. Reminder, look at the question carefully. And he's, he's, he, he crosses out wheezing. So wheezing isn't it. So the coughing wheezing line is not getting a regional fake. So all we have is gulping, um, drift bloom, and um, um, <laughs> this thing I always keep forgetting his name. Um, and so it's possible that now we just had Gen 4 stuff. So we might not get anything else from Gen 4. A lot of people are saying that Drift Bloom is a possibility, but what could you do? I mean, honestly, if you really think about this and the the Black City White Forest leak, I mean, the White Forest leak is a tree, uh, and maybe Drift Bloom could the 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 regional fake Drift Bloom could be a tree. It's got like you know puffy cotton top. It doesn't fly, but it's it's kind of like cotton, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yeah, maybe maybe it's none of them. Because remember, he says, look at the question carefully. And the question is, which or none of them? So I'm thinking, none of them. <laughs> I'm thinking, it's not going to be either of these Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, maybe it's going to be a purple Pokemon, but not none of these particular purple Pokemon. If you, get, if you, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so then they kicked it up a little bit more. So we have the uh, the staff of Greek God Man that I talked about in the other video. Uh, I still can't remember how to pronounce that. But we have his staff here. So this is not the Cadus. This is not the Cadicus because the Cadicus has wings. This doesn't. So this is a completely different staff. And so people are theorizing that this is, means that the Diplin is going to evolve into another multi-headed dragon Pokemon because technically there are two dragons inside the apple and so that Diplin can evolve again and then the two you know two dragon heads will come up kind of you know spiraling like this now while I think this looks cool I don't think it's gonna happen and the reason for that is none of none of Applin's other evolutions evolve like flapple or um uh um turn the uh the apple turnover one none of them actually evolve all right so they they you know flapple i mean uh applin is the only one that evolves and it only evolves one time you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like tyrogue if you remember tyrogue tyrogue evolves into hitmonlee hitmonchan and hitmontop and that's it so none of them actually evolve, you know, I said they just have a pre-evolution in Tyro where, you know, you have to have different like stat spreads in order to get it to evolve into different Pokemon at a specific level. So it would be weird if, say, Hitmon Top got an evolution, but Lee and Chan didn't. So it would be weird if they evolved the Applin, uh, this this particular Applin evolution, and it didn't involve any of the other ones. So I think this might connect to a different Pokemon. All right, and the last rumor we're going to talk about is the Pokemon uh, Black City White Forest leak. So uh, we re he revealed that the Black City leak was was hinting at the evolution of uh, well, we, it was hinting at Arcule Arculodon. So, you know, Black City, you know, bridges kind of exist in cities. It has kind of the same aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's very, you know, modern, urban looking. Um, so, the, the other Pokemon is going to be something that's very forest, something that's very natural looking. It might even resemble a tree, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, I've got one rumor, one theory as to what this could be. And I'm thinking that this other Pokemon is going to be another one-off dragon evolution. All right, because remember, uh, the pre-evolution of Arculodon is just a random one-off dragon that they stuck on the Pokédex. It doesn't have a pre-evo. It doesn't evolve into anything until now. It's just a, a, a one-stage Pokemon. 
So maybe that's what the other one's going to be as well. To kind of mirror this. You know, the other one's also going to be a one-stage Pokemon that just evolved. Now, there are three possibilities that I'm going to predict. Again, I could be wrong. Uh, but that could be uh, Drampa, um, Turtonator, or the, uh, the, the the other spiky dragon with the wings. And that's mainly because all three of these are just like, you know, Arculodon's pre-evolution. They're just random one-off dragons that got stuck on the Pokédex. They don't have any pre-evos. They don't evolve into anything. So I can definitely see them going back and getting one of them. Specifically, particularly Drampa, because... I mean, you know, Drempok kind of has a similar color palette to the tree. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, or it could be I anything else. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong, but that's my prediction on this. So, that's about it for this one. I was trying not to make this video too long because I wanted to make another video today. But if I don't get it out, it is what it is. Uh, you'll have another video tomorrow. <laughs> so... Uh, that's about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, people, keep it real.